So doing a recovery because the shop picked up a leak right down there and um, they're gonna replace the condenser. But the only thing is, is they only use UV dye and the only leak detector that the shop has is a real cheap old TIFF from like 20 or 30 years ago. And even the technician says that TIFF is no good. It leaks, it goes off on everything. Everything you point it, it's always going off. So basically it's useless. So the shop only uses dye, not this dye, another dye. That is really good. It's another bright one. And uh, or right down there, you can see it. But the thing is, is I leak check this and uh, I know they're gonna, they already have the condenser. They're gonna change the condenser, but the condenser is not leaking. It's the O-ring at the fitting. <sighs> this is unfortunate for the customer. He doesn't need a condenser. He just needs a O-ring. But the thing is, is that the dye went all over everywhere and I already pinpointed the leak with the big blue. So I know it's not the condenser. Because the shop is cheap and they won't buy a thousand dollar leak detector or even a six hundred dollar leak detector they have like a hundred dollar leak detector from 30 years ago and this is what happens and uh, so i'm just doing the recovery because this is yf and they don't have a yf machine they have a 130 machine so basically they're a pretend shop it's not even a real mechanical shop and all they're doing is using dye Dye is not the method you use to look for leaks as your only method. Refrigerant leak detector is number one or ultrasonic leak detector. You can use this, but they had to send, you know, like sometimes you have hard ones, but I was able to find the leak with this. And with this, they had to pump it up with this and send it out and let it leak out some of it to find it. Now it's everywhere. And now they just condemn a condenser that is not needed. And uh, yeah, this is what happens to you and the general public when somebody is unknowledgeable, who if the owner doesn't want to spend money on good uh, leak detectors, uh, they like my light. I showed them the light and compared they had, they had some 20 year old little chinchy light, which just barely made, oh, the dye on my gloves show. Let's see if I could do this here. Let's see, put the, put the light right there. Okay, when they put their light on my hand you see up by my upper knuckle their light can only see that dye they didn't see any of the dye down below it was all black and this was not even bright with their little light so that means they're missing a lot of leaks because they have a weak little light one of those little 20 dollar lights and they're a professional shop or supposedly a professional but they have the cheapest light a worthless leak detector and they just guess <sighs> so frustrating in our industry but by selling a condenser they're making money instead of an o-ring by ripping off the customer you make money not by being honest how's this for my mode of, of operation this is why our industry has a black eye and people don't like the automotive industry that's all i gotta say guys i, I feel sorry for the workers here because they don't got good tools and the one who 